Shelly Ann Fraser Price goes in six, and Shikari Richardson. This, without question, is one of the highest quality sprint lineups the sport of athletics has ever witnessed. It's time. Obviously, this is just a preview of what the women's 100 meter race may look like in Paris in a few days. But before some of you go on a rampage, yes, more athletes from all over are well equipped to win the Olympic 100 meter gold. It isn't an exaggeration to say, though, that some are too ahead of their competitors in the race to the top. USA's Shikari Richardson, for one, is poised to end the Jamaican win streak. Jamaica's Sharika Jackson and Shelly Ann Fraser Price, on the other hand, could deter Richardson from her plans. Meanwhile, Julian Alfred is set on making Olympic history for St. Lucia. As you know, the 100 meters is one of the most popular events in the Olympics due to its simplicity. Then there's the excitement of seeing just how fast a human can run. Fans of the sport are, without a doubt, thrilled at the prospect of seeing sprinters set new personal bests and or break world records. In truth, the possibilities are endless as technology improves, along with the advancements in the understanding of the mechanics of the human body. This has been particularly true when it comes to women's events. The women's 100-meter world record of 10.49 seconds, set by Florence Griffith Joyner, has stood since 1988. For decades, that record has been considered practically impossible to beat. Now that the gold medal time has dropped in five straight Olympiads, from 10.93 in 2004 to 10.61 in 2021, it no longer seems far-fetched that the once unthinkable feat could fall. Before Griffith Joyner's record, the best women's 100-meter time had been 10.76 by Evelyn Ashford in 1984. Among world-class athletes, a 0.27-second drop in a span of four years is essentially seen as obliteration of a record. Despite the 1988 controversy, the 10.49 time was ratified by the IAAF and the record still stands today. For those who didn't know, Flojo's win was not accepted by many due to concerns about the possible use of performance-enhancing substances and questionable wind readings. As the American never failed a drug test and her time was ratified, her record stands to this day, more than three decades later. Today, though, it no longer seems unbreakable. Jamaica's Elaine Thompson Hera set the second fastest 100 meter time in women's running history at 10.54 during the Prefontaine Classic in 2021. She won the 100 meter event in the Tokyo Olympics, and she planned to defend her title in Paris. Unfortunately, she will no longer be able to do that due to an Achilles injury that she sustained at the New York Grand Prix. Even with her out of the running, literally, another Jamaican track star can challenge Flojo's time. Shelly Ann Fraser Price, who holds the third best 100 meter time, is expected to compete in the Summer Games with a personal best of 10.60 in 2021. The 37 year old said Paris will be her fifth and final Olympics. Then there's the current world champion in the distance, American Shakari Richardson. She is making her Olympic debut this summer. Her official personal best is 10.65, which she registered at Budapest last year. So far this year, she has the fastest time in the 100 meter with 10.71. Simply put, the American champion looks capable of ending the run of four consecutive Olympic titles in this event for Jamaica. Shakari set the tone for her own comeback story a year ago, when she ran to the 100-meter US title, then the World Championship, and brashly proclaimed, I'm not back, I'm better. Now that she's about to compete in the biggest stage of all, many are wondering if she is still better than a field of the fastest women on the planet. Can she handle the pressure that is unique to the Olympics? Honest answer? It seems so. The 24-year-old favorite in the women's Olympic 100 meters has been open and honest about her quest to become a more appreciative, mindful version of herself. She has since shared bits and pieces of her life, from her stunning fall and her inspiring comeback. All the mystery, turmoil, and ultimately success has made Richardson larger than life and left her enthusiastic and growing fan base wanting more. In fact, she is more than a mere celebrity sprinter. 
She is a young, famous black woman whose suspension evoked arguments about race, drugs, anti-doping rules, and an Olympic ecosphere that is still largely run and reported on by older white men. It's not a goal of mine to be known, Richardson said, but I definitely don't want to be known for one thing. No one does. It's important for me to be the best person I can be in all that matters to me, like family, community, and the work that I do. Speaking of relationships, the behind-the-scenes Netflix series Sprint showed clips of testy exchanges between her and reporters. Reflecting on the media's role in telling her story, she said, I feel like in the media, every move I make, there's a lot of noise about it. This year, her occasional in-person exchanges with reporters, most notably at the U.S. Olympic trials, have been less tense. Her comments centered on different variations of the same theme, personal growth, accountability, and family. I would say in the past few years, I've grown to have a better understanding of myself, Richardson said. I have a deeper respect and appreciation for the role I have in the sport, as well as my responsibility to the people who believe and support me. Some say that to be in the presence of sprinting sensation, Shakori Richardson is something special. Last month alone, she worked her way through three races at the U.S. Olympic team trials for track and field in Eugene, Oregon, to not only earn her spot at the Olympic Games Paris 2024, but set a world lead time of 10.71 while doing so. While she had all eyes on her from start to finish, her pre- and post-race aura leaves nothing to be desired. Shakari has arrived as a global superstar in women's athletics, and she intends to show that off on the Olympic stage in the coming days too. It's a full circle moment, Richardson told reporters in Eugene after her 100-meter victory. I'm super excited to continue to grow and build from this momentum that we've already established here. Her mantra since winning the US and world titles in 2023 has been, I'm not back, I'm better. And while her times on the track show that to be true, it's the internal work that Richardson, now 24, has said is the most integral part of the process. Everything I've been through, to be in this moment right now, she said, continuing, there's nothing I've been through that hasn't designed me to sit right here in front of you. Overall, all signs point toward Richardson getting that win in the Olympic 100 final, set for August 3rd at the Stade de France. Whatever happens, it means a lot that she knows that she's far from a finished product. She, more than anyone, is aware that every day, she is still trying to get better under the demanding eye of her coach, Dennis Mitchell. That's not to say, though, that she came to Paris unprepared. It's quite the opposite, actually. Uh, Shikari Richardson is ignoring any negative energies and opinions at Paris 2024. And for the perfect reason, she has gold in her sights. The U.S. sprinter is ready to show the world what she is capable of and heads to the French capital as the favorite to win the women's 100 meter. And she will hope to do so in her own unique style. That's just authentically who I am. I never play small. This is how I show up in life, she added. I wanted to focus on competing at my best and my look reflected that. It was clean, fresh and fast. Watch how ready other athletes competing in Paris are.